people good morning how are we all doing hopefully you guys are all doing very very well don't forget hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel don't forget as well to like and share the vids also don't forget give me a follow on instagram the handle is ade oladipo all right peeps let's talk about tyson fury versus alexander Usyk. undisputed heavyweight title fight that uh should happen i think could happen and i actually think will happen maybe before the end of the year i know that sounds crazy because we're at the end of August and we don't have many months left. But I think there is a good chance if both teams are talking and we're, you know, we're led to believe they are talking. I think there's a good chance this fight could happen in December. I really do. Um, and it needs to happen as well. We need to know who the number one heavyweight on the planet is. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be screaming at me now saying, Addy, the number one is Tyson Fury. And you could be right. I actually think he is the number one heavyweight on the planet. But, but... There will be some, if I asked 100 people, there would be a percentage that say Alexander Usyk. And that's why we need to determine who the number one is. For example, if I say to people, who is the number one 168 pounder on the planet right now? Everyone will say Canelo. Everyone. Fact. If I said to people, who is the 147 king right now? It will be split between Errol and Terence. Hence why we need to find out who number one is. This is my point. We need to know who is the real number one heavyweight on the planet. For Usyk to beat up Joshua back to back, he deserves to be up there. He deserves, like, this isn't a foregone conclusion that Tyson Fury is the number one when Usyk's just done what he done to AJ back to back. It isn't. It, it, it really isn't. Um, look, I think the fight will happen. Um, Bob Arum has come out and obviously he works alongside Frank Warren in promoting Tyson Fury and he says, can happen. Like, there are no roadblocks for it happening. Alexander Usyk's a free agent. He can go wherever he wants, which makes the deal a lot easier to make. So this fight could be on BT Sports. This fight could be on ESPN. Not a problem. You know, this isn't a DAZN issue. This isn't a Sky Sports issue. So look, half of the roadblocks have already been opened. They've parted ways. This is it now. There's, there's one straight road to it. Obviously, the most, I guess the biggest issue here is money. Money's the biggest issue. Tyson Fury who, by the way, was retired um, in April or March, has come out now and said, look, in order to make this fight, I want half a billy. I want half a billy. I want 500 million. Now, he isn't going to get that, but I will tell you this now. The Saudis, and I think it's only going to be the Saudis, will offer him a lot of money. A lot of money. Um, honestly, it could be something... Again, half a billy stupid. I'm not even going to get anywhere near that. But it could be 70 to 80 million. Usyk could be the same amount of money. It could be. Um, and then this fight will happen. It will happen. Um, there's been some talk about Tyson Fury. Almost like some people have, in some circles have said he's scared of Usyk. Are you crazy? Tyson Fury, 20 stone, the Gypsy King, scared of what he calls a middleweight. Absolutely no chance. Tyson Fury will take this fight every single day of the week. It's just the money needs to be right for him because, look, he's a prize fighter and he's all about the Benjamins and he wants to get paid. Um, I, I will say this, though. Having now been so lucky to watch Alexander Usyk up close, like literally I am, I don't know, 10 feet away from the ring. Less than that. What am I talking? Yeah, no, about that. To see him up close and to see the movement, the accuracy... The, the engine, and I say the engine like in capital letters there because Deontay Wilder spoke about his stamina. I'm like, is Wilder crazy? This guy doesn't fucking get tired. This Usyk doesn't get tired. I've, I've, I've seen it. I've seen him get hit with a body shot. Clean, big, AJ, 18 stone. The guy still moves. So um, for me to see him up close and personal, I'll tell you this now, Tyson Fury has not fought anything like that. And some might say, okay, but Usyk hasn't fought anything like Tyson Fury. You are correct, which is why the fight's so fucking intriguing. But... If Fury thinks that, you know, this is because um, he spoke about Usyk's weight, which is, by the way, the same as Wilder's weight. Usyk is so much better than Deontay Wilder. And people might talk about Wilder's right hand. I get that. I get that. Usyk can smack a bit as well, by the way. But Usyk is so much better that the way in which Fury was able to walk uh, Wilder down, he ain't doing that to Usyk. He will get to him. He'll put his body on him. We know what Tyson Fury does, but he's not going to just walk him down because Usyk just won't be there. Like, Fury will come and Usyk's gone. And then he'll get attacked. I'm telling you now, this... I don't want to say... I, this, I think, will be Fury's hardest fight. And it, it's, I'm stuttering because, obviously, we saw what Wilder did to him. 
but mentally, this will be his hardest fight because he's going to be in there with someone that he's going to find quite tricky to get to. I'm telling you now, this motherfucker is so difficult to get to. And when you, even when you get to him, he's not, he's not like he's fucking 12 stone. He's 16 and a half stone. He can hit a bit, Usyk. So oh, I love it. Honestly, I love this fight. I really do. Um, I will never, ever rule against Tyson Fury ever again. I, I did it for the Klitschko fight. I did it for the first Wilder fight. And even then, I was like, oh, maybe Wilder underestimated him. I said Wilder again in the second fight. Never again. Never again. He just finds a way to win. And ultimately, as good as Usyk is, and look, I think he's the pound for pound number one, the old adage of a good big un beats a good little un. And this is a great big un against a great little un, and I will always go with the great big un. But I'm telling you now, Tyson Fury, at stages in this fight, is going to get pieced up. Listen, Mark, listen to the words that are coming out of my mouth. Tyson Fury, at a stage in this fight, is going to be in there and think, what the fuck is going on? And honestly, because this Usyk guy is not, he's not your average Joe. He's not. He isn't, look at what's Tyson Fury's last fights. No disrespect, he isn't Sefer Safiri, obviously. He isn't Pianetta. He isn't Tom Schwartz. He isn't Otto Wollin. He isn't Deontay Wilder. He's better than a lot of them. Better than a lot of them by some distance. So this is a tough fight for Fury. And Fury is a bit rattled. I mean, it's funny because um, Fury phone talks, but I love Tyson Fury. He's such a, like, there, there are no handlers. And this proves it. Tyson Fury, phone talk sport. He didn't just phone talk sport. He didn't have the number 21. He phoned reception. So it's not like Tyson Fury's manager. Yeah, Tyson Fury would like to get through to talk sport. Please. No, no. Tyson Fury, phone talk sport. All right. It's Tyson Fury. <laughs> I can't do his voice. He's phoning reception. The reception desk we have. And she obviously was like, huh? Fury? Put him through. And he was on with Simon Jordan and Jim White. That's Fury. But um, he almost seemed angry at the notion that this little middleweight, and that's what he calls him, can beat him up. <laughs> For Usyk, again, look, I, I'm, I was lucky. What, I was so lucky, because sometimes you, you sit back and think how lucky you are. I, I was the only cameraman allowed at one stage into the Usyk dressing room after, and I did the interview of Usyk after, which has done really good numbers for zone. And it's funny because how it works is there, there's the cameraman there, and there's, the, there's the producer behind, because look, Alexander Usyk only wants to give you a couple of minutes because he's tired, he's had a fight, he's got to do the drug test, etc. So my producers told me, Ade, literally you've got two minutes with him. In my head, I'm thinking that's not enough because it has to go for a translator. You know, Usyk's English is getting better, but still, I talk quite fast, translator. And she's telling me to wind up, wind up now, like stop, stop. So it, it goes from that, which is wind up, to like no more. And I'm like, nah, man, I've got to ask him the Fury question. I've got to say, any message to Fury, and that's when he looked down the barrel and said uh, what he said, like, come out of retirement, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, look, you know, you know the, the disappointing thing for me as a UK fight fan is this fight. Look, the atmosphere, by the way, for Usyk AJ was good, you know. A lot of people talk about the atmosphere was shit. It wasn't. It was good. But obviously it wasn't like it would have been in the UK. I just feel like... <laughs> For this fight, it should be at Tottenham or Wembley. Like, I, I, I just hope there's a billionaire over here that can just say, oh, fuck it, you guys are not fighting over there. Here's the money. I'm paying for it. You're fighting over here. You're fighting here. Because I almost want Fury to come out at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium because I'm not, the whole of Britain will be behind him, right? I mean, I know Usyk's nice and we all love Usyk and he's fun, he's laughing, you know, all that. I get all that. But it will be almost like a revenge mission for Britain. What? You beat AJ? One second. Let's call the big dog. And I think, it, as soon as he comes out, oh God, I'm getting excited thinking about it now. Jesus Christ. As soon as Fury comes out, the crowd will go mental. And he's not going to have that in, in Saudi. It's not going to be the same. Like, you know, I, you know when Fury was talking about, I'd fight AJ for free, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, all that was rubbish. But I'd almost love Fury to put his foot down here and say, no, the fight's in the UK. The fight's happening at Wembley or Tottenham or anywhere in the, I don't care, anywhere in the UK. We're not going to Saudi for this one. We're not. It loses something. It's not the same. It loses it. And having been to AJ 
Usyk at Tottenham. Again, the Saudis put on a good event, but it's not the same as Usyk, AJ and Saudi. It was nowhere near the same in terms of atmosphere. I want that. I want Fury to come out, British flag, let's go. Let's fucking have it. <laughs> and you know what I like as well about this matchup so much, people, is that, you know, Usyk's one can short of a six pack, like he's mental. There's no, he's mental. Fury's mental as well. So all those kind of things that Usyk does, where he, like what he does, I almost feel like it, get, it got under AJ's skin. AJ was trying to kind of, you know, almost put a barrier and a shield between him and Usyk, so it didn't get up, but I feel like it did. For Fury, he will welcome that. I even think the opposite would happen. I think Fury would get under Usyk's skin. He would, wouldn't he? He just would, that's how Fury is. So, um, oh, fucking hell. Take my money now. Now. That's in, honestly, it's an incredible matchup. It really is. Um, Usyk will cause him problems, but Usyk ultimately, I think, just will be too small. And Fury will do what AJ, what we asked AJ to do, which is put all your body weight on him, like really suffocate him. Fury will do that. And also, Fury won't have the fear of having to take one to land one. Like he might have to go for the fire to land one. I almost feel like with AJ, it was like, do I trust my chin enough to take one? I think Fury will think, fuck it. Even if you do hit me, and we've seen it with Fury, I will get up. Motherfucking when I get up. <laughs> anyway, let's hope that negotiations can happen. Frank spoke about it. Be interesting to see what um, Usyk's team have said. They haven't really said much since the fight about it. But Bob said something, Frank said something, Fury said something. All down to you, Mr. Usyk. All down to you, whoever's gonna bankroll this thing. But this will do good numbers. If this is in the UK, pay-per-view, I think this does a million buys. I think it does a million buys, I really do. Um, big numbers. And you know what? We'll end on this one. I am happy for Fury. Really am. That he's getting his money. He's getting his love. Because when this guy won all the belts, I don't know what his purse was for Vladimir Klitschko. But it would have been pathetic. And now look at him. Now look at him. It's incredible, isn't it? That now... I never thought he would be a star like this, really, if I'm honest. Um, and he's, he is a star. He is a superstar. And... He might be the one to stop this Ukrainian. He might, or as he calls him, the foreigner. Cheeky. Peace.